here are lifelong friends. You'll notice they have a little gray in their muzzles, but they are sweet seniors, and they've been together almost all their lives. So Janine, they know each other as well as an old married couple. I could just picture them sitting on a park bench, looking and trying to remember where they parked the car. <laughs> They're just like, they love each other. They've got these cool markings on them, but I mean, just because they're a little bit midlife, you know, that doesn't mean they're all old and ready to be put down. I mean, they are, have full of life. They're lovely dogs. They love each other. They love people. So I think you need to give this little duo a shot. And they are in the buddy system since they've been lifelong companions. And they're about 10 to 12 years old. And if, with the buddy system, what you get is two for one. What a bargain, right? But this is Jake, and we have Bella right here, and she is so soft, and she loves to cuddle and be held like a baby, and he was just back here giving me kisses, and look at those ears. Isn't that the cutest? So come check out this little sweet couple. They want to be in a loving home for their golden years. Look at years. all that spunk they've still got there. We always think of dogs as hiking companions. Here's a adventurous cat. Former shelter resident Ivy enjoys getting in her harness and going hiking, walking, and going exploring and shopping at PetSmart with her new mom, Kennedy. Happy Adoption Day, Ivy. Oogie boogie. <laughs> Look at him. He's 40 pounds of wiggles. I love this dog. He's a boxer, lab mix, still very much a puppy. And Perry, he's one of the happiest dogs in the entire world. I would say so, Ashley. This guy is crazy, crazy happy, full of life. And this seven-month-old is just pure puppy, and that's the way it is at seven months of age. And it's a very difficult age sometimes for doggies because their size is now quite substantial as opposed to when they were like little eight-week-olds. But they about have the same mentality. <laughs> You have a little bit of work to do. This guy is really, really fun, though. He is very happy. His demeanor is wonderful. He would really... <laughs> he hears the toys being played with, and he is ready right now. There he goes. You know what would be great for this guy, though? A little bit of training, and uh, you can do that at the Arizona Humane Society. Go to our website, azhumane.org slash dog training, and read about the classes we have, because they're really good. They have beginners, intermediate, advanced classes, some specialty ones. This guy doesn't need any demeanor training. He just needs regular old training. He is wonderful. He is so cute. Come on down and check out this black and white Oreo doggy. He's wonderful. Oogie boogie. Oogie Every boogie. time I walk past his kennel, as soon as he sees you, he just starts wiggling. Like his whole body just wiggles with excitement. <laughs> He's so much fun. I hope he goes to a really good home today. All right, now another slightly shy puppy as opposed to Oogie Boogie. We wrapped up the show here with this little love bucket. Lisa, tell us about Sassy Lynn. She is just a delightful little peanut. She is. She's just 11 weeks old. And I've got her sitting here instead of holding her. So you can just see how adorable she is. She's a little poodle chihuahua mix. And she's not going to get very big. She's going to be a small little dog. She it was an EAMT rescue. Somebody wasn't quite sure what it was on the side of the road, but it was Sassy Lynn here. She was sick and she was kind of bloated, had a bloated stomach. We weren't sure what exactly was. So they rushed her back, put her on some IV fluids and x-rays, and we, she must have just eaten something. We didn't find anything wrong with her, but we did send her to a foster home for a couple weeks so one of our foster heroes could monitor her eating and all of her eliminations to make sure everything was fine. But Miss Sassy now has lived with dogs, cats, and children, and she is a spunky little puppy. She loves cuddles. She loves squeaky toys. Um, she's one of those that is also going to probably fit in your purse and we'll go out to happy hour with you or Sunday morning for coffee, whatever you want. Um, Sassy here has had the works of all of her shots already. She might just need one more series, but she's spayed and she has learned what a family's all about. So she's ready for one of you to come adopt her and show her the ropes of what it's like to be a happy, healthy doggy. All right, well, for more information about the pets on today's show, visit azhumane.org forward slash pets on parade or call the number right there on your screen. Everyone have a great weekend. We'll see you next week with more adoptable pets.